He's looking at you. <laughs> Isn't he? Yeah. Ah, he like daddy. There you go, Rosie. Good morning, world, from the Rosa del Mar in the north of Chargal. We're about to go for a little drive to meet up with our friends have some breakfast and then we've got a long drive back down to home later today yes. haven't we yeah over an hour isn't it yeah it's a big old journey story's just gone for a wander off by herself come on let's jump in the tuk tuk we're gonna go for a drive now to the little family ride if you've been following our journey since we arrived in the Philippines, you'll know we've been driving this tuk-tuk as a family. It's been the perfect ride for us and today we wanted to do a little feature on why we chose to use this vehicle for our travels around Chargao. Should we go sit on the beach? So one of the main reasons why we wanted to take this tuk-tuk as our vehicle here on the island is because it's very unique to Chargao Island. They're only doing it here, nowhere else in the Philippines at the moment. Whenever we travel, we like to do something unique. The company is called Bingo Chargao, and we are actually partnering with them today to make this video because I really believe in their company, and I absolutely love everything that they've done for us the whole time we've been on this island. Because of this worldwide quarantine, they're actually offering some discounts for everybody. You can now rent one of these bad boys for 15,000 pesos per month which if you work out on a daily rate is very very similar to getting a scooter for just two people and you can get a whole family in this thing it's even got some space here on the back shelf to put your luggage and down here we've had our shopping and one of the main reasons why I wanted to partner with these guys is because they want to keep Chargao Island Chargao Islands they didn't want to just bring cars to the islands they wanted to bring something that kept the island vibe of the scooter or the tricycle and that's how the concept of the tuk-tuk here on the island began a lot of businesses here in the Philippines are struggling right now and we definitely don't want this one to go under so we want to do what we can to help spread the word that if you need something like this and you're looking for a monthly rental I can genuinely recommend it we've driven right up to the beach today we're gonna to have breakfast with our friends at the coconut nut when they get here we're the first people here aren't we it's really pretty though look at the setup of breakfast oh wow it looks lovely um, morning, morning. <laughs> didn't see me there <laughs> this is looking good nice music playing this is onion, onion. Hello Onion, how are you? Oh, you've got a bit of a sad face, haven't you? <laughs> it's really soft. <laughs> His mum is called Ginger. Oh, lovely vegetable <laughs> names. <laughs> oh, look at your little sad face. Can I have a stroke? No? Or well, maybe later. Story's occupying herself with her sand toys. You having fun there, Story? Yeah, I am. What are you building? I'm just yeah. making birthday cakes. You're making birthday cakes? Good morning, are you Ginger? I think this must be ginger, hey? <laughs> so in about three and a half weeks, we are actually going to be moving up to the north side of the island. Right now we are living quite far south and we've got a long journey back. But it's nice that over the lockdown period and up until now, we've made quite a few friends here on the island and it is feeling like home. Part of that is having a house, having a vehicle. We still feel like we've got a little bit more to do before we actually feel properly like home, like get some of our stuff here. But right now, being able to explore the north and everything, see what the beaches are like up here, park up on the sand and actually have your breakfast by the sea, yeah. it's fantastic. Yeah, every time we come up this way, it just it feels really exciting that we're actually going to be living up here. It's a different feel, isn't it, from yeah. the general lunar area and it just, it just feels so lovely to be up here. Yeah. So calm and peaceful. I'm really looking forward to it. The story makes herself at home everywhere we go. So that's good for us, she's very adaptable. Martin's coming! Hi! Good morning! <laughs> Story's been talking about Martin all morning. I can't even fly! Yeah, exactly. You can fly in your dreams. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> coffee. Yes. Yes, we love. Oh, everyone loves coffee. We've got some oats wow. here, a bit of some avocado, rice, fruits. You looking forward to it, Story? Uh, yeah, all of it. Just She's just got her eyes on the bread. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're a bread monster, aren't you? Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Let's see. Yeah.
Yeah, you can you say bye? bye. <laughs> oh, <laughs> saying goodbye to the friends. And you. We're going to go and chill out for a bit and then head back. Yes. <laughs> An amazing breakfast. <laughs> Are you doing a curl comparison? Yeah. <laughs> we can have curl competition. Yeah. <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> it needs a bit of a cut, doesn't it? <laughs> you ready to go? <laughs> no, because I'm being kids. Yeah? Those crazy kids. You're being a crazy kid, yeah? yeah. Alright, should we head off? No. No? <laughs> you just want to hang out here all day by the beach? Okay, we're just picking up our bags from where we're staying. How's that story? Is it nice? Yeah, nice. You've been looking forward to getting in this swing, haven't you? Yeah, nobody's in here. No, just you. Yeah. Okay, just checking out. One thing that has really impressed me about this bingo ride is that it can go over pretty much any terrain. We've taken this all over the island from north to south. It's never got stuck in the sand, it's never got stuck in the mud. And I think it's got something to do with the fact that the engine is in the back and both of the wheels drive on the rear. So you've got quite a lot of weight back there and it doesn't really allow it to get stuck in the mud even though it's a three-wheeler. There's not been one time where I've had to get out and push it through a muddy puddle or through a sandy bank, not once. It seems to have the perfect balance, which has been great for the family. I've never had to ask anybody to push anything. We've always been able to fit our little shopping in the back here. We mentioned recently that we wanted to help promote local businesses and this particular business has been vital to provide the story for our journey here in Shargo Island. A vehicle is a memory maker. The photographs that you take, the places that it takes you to. I've always loved driving and this has been perfect for us and our family. I don't want this company to go under just because of a situation or circumstance that's out of their control so they asked us if we would be willing to talk about their monthly promotions for people stranded on the island and we said yes we'd definitely do that for them. Do you remember when we were stuck here on hard lockdown we couldn't even leave the village and the bingo ride company turned up with bread and peanut butter for yeah, us. Yeah, that was so nice. Yeah. Really unexpected as well. Yeah, <laughs> it was really difficult for us to get out. We didn't ask them for anything. They just came to drop off a new unit for us because we started a new rental, didn't yeah. we? And they just surprised us with bags of bread and peanut yeah. butter because they saw that story, liked it, yeah. and just really, really friendly. They were like, hey, a little gift from GL. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's really nice. <laughs> it was brilliant. And it was just another reason why we feel connected to this company. At the same time, they even dropped off a SIM card for you, didn't they? They did, yeah. Yeah, and they asked us recently to talk about their new startup business that they're doing. It's called smartbingo.com. And basically, it removes all of the hassle of trying to get online here in the Philippines. It's really confusing to get online. <laughs> and basically, it's just you top up your SIM card via their website. So it's much easier. You don't have to go to a sorry, sorry store in the middle of the night if you run yeah. out of data. So it's worth checking out. We're going to put all of these links in the description below. And it's just another way for this company to try and ride out this pandemic. And so we wanted to talk about that in the video, let you know that it's there. Because tourists here on the island do need data, don't yes. they? Definitely to yeah, keep in touch with family. And it's something that you wouldn't know was available to you, isn't it? If yeah. you weren't, if you hadn't rented a tuk-tuk or something, you might not know this information. So if you are here and you need another way to get data, go and check it out. Yeah, it's worth it. Because it has been very confusing, the whole internet situation here in the Philippines. And they've got one more really smart idea as well, which is brilliant for people who don't need to rent a vehicle, which is their pickup and delivery service for LBC Express, the postal company yeah. here. So basically, at the moment, there's a real backup in the local post office because so many people are going there to pick up packages that you could be standing around for an hour and a half in a queue. So basically, they are offering a service, a bit like a courier service, where they will go down there to the post office for you and pick up your package and deliver it to you. Yeah. So and you don't have to 
to go to the post office, which is great because yeah. when we went, it was raining, wasn't it? We yeah. had to stand outside for about half an hour <laughs> and then we had to stand inside for about another 15 minutes. There was a long queue and yeah, it, it was very time consuming. And inconvenient, so it's a great idea and it helps locals and tourists too. Another thing that's really smart that perhaps you wouldn't even think about is that this tuk-tuk is designed in such a way that it overcomes the problem with social distancing. <laughs> because if you get in a tricycle here in the Philippines, you're right next to the driver yeah. and according to local ordinance they don't allow that but in the tuk-tuk because the driver's in the front and then there's a space in the back it actually overcomes some of the problems of the coronavirus right now there's more than enough space to carry three people yeah with no problem and all of your stuff in the back shelf too yeah that back shelf has been a lifesaver hasn't it <laughs> it really we has it so much it's great to put your shopping in and it's been perfect it really has it's worked out really well for yeah. us as a small family and even when your mum was here yeah. it was perfect for us all. So if you're coming to this island with a kid or with a grandma we can testify <laughs> that it actually works really well. Yeah. Or if you just want something a bit more different than just renting a normal scooter yeah. it's fun it looks good it will look good in your pictures yeah. <laughs> and if you make videos it's a little interest point for that as well. Yeah island feel doesn't yeah, it? Yeah exactly. So if everything goes well and the company still manages to thrive in this situation they are actually planning on releasing Bingo Palawan and bingo sikijo as well so i think that's brilliant yeah. it's been so good for us here on shargal and i want them to be able to expand and not be affected by this situation that's out of everyone's control yeah. so i hope you'll check out the links down below send them a little message if you're here on the island and you need some services or if you're planning on coming here just kind of like inquire we highly recommend it yes it was actually one of the first companies that i found when we started looking for our trip to shargal mm. i saw a picture of the tuk tuk just randomly on instagram and i was like oh wow they do tuk tuks that will look really cool so that was something, even before we got here, we were excited to rent the tuk-tuk yeah. just because it's different. It enticed you to the island in a way, didn't it? It did, yeah. Because, you know, you go to India or you go to Thailand where they have tuk-tuks more frequently, mm. but you can't rent them. Yeah. So this is the only place where you can actually rent one and drive it yourself. Yeah, and... never had the chance to drive yeah. one before until now. <laughs> And also, if you don't want to drive it yourself, they also ah. offer a driver service. So yeah. you don't have to self-drive if you don't want to. Exactly. So it's a win-win all round. Everyone's been happy with it and Story loves it. She does, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's that time in the video to do some shout-outs to our subscribers. Starting today with Sal Paiva, who wants to do a birthday shout out to husband Carlos, who just turned 62 years old. Oh, happy birthday, Carlos! Next up, we have Rosaro Isareta, and they want a shout out for the grandchildren, who are Leandro, Luke, Luke Sam, Sam, Charlize, Eunice, JT, Oya Boy, Boy, Christian, and Crystal. Hi, guys! Wow, lots of grandchildren. <laughs> And now another happy birthday and this one is to Edward Eugenio and that is from Janelle Eugenio from Virginia, USA. Oh, happy birthday and hello to you both. Now we have a shout out request from Maria Polidoro in Cyprus yeah. and they asked us to do a shout out for her husband who turned 40 on the 22nd of July. So it's oh, belated. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. And another birthday is going to Angela Cabales. Happy 30th birthday to you and a big hello. Happy birthday. And you are in Marikina City in the Philippines. And another birthday, there's a lot of birthdays today and this one is for Fred. Hello Fred, happy birthday. You're in San Antonio in Texas and this was requested by your brother Mark. Yeah. Julie Refreya, happy belated birthday to you as well and this was requested by your daughter. Happy birthday. And the final shout out we're gonna do today is another birthday shout out and this is going to Grace in Queens, New York. Happy 59th birthday. And this request was from your sisters, Carol and Ellen. Yeah, yeah. and you guys are in Pennsylvania. So happy birthday to you. Yeah. Oh, and New Jersey. Ah. You're all over America. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please do go and check out the links below for the bingo company. We really believe in what they're doing, as we said in this whole video. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.